XOR gate using static CMOS logic. So the expression for the XOR gate is given by F is equal to A XOR B, or it can be written as A bar B plus A B bar. Now normally using static CMOS logic, we have expressions in the following form, that is Y is equal to X square. So in order to represent it that form, we have can derive that F is equal to A bar B plus A B bar, we can prove it if it is equal to a b plus a bar b bar the whole bar. Also, the truth table for the XOR gate is given by whenever the two inputs a and b are equal, the output is zero. And whenever they are uh, not equal, that is a is zero, b is one, and a is one, b is zero, that time the output is one. Now let us prove the point where f is equal to a b plus a bar b bar the whole bar is equal to a b bar plus a bar b so we write this the second step says we can apply the de morgan's law so what does the de morgan's law say it will be a dot b bar into a bar dot b bar the whole bar again we apply the de morgan's theorem and we'll get a bar f is equal to a bar plus b bar into a plus b now if we now, if we get four terms, out of that, the first term is A, A bar, which is actually zero. Second term is A bar B. Third term is A, B bar. And the fourth term is B, B bar. That is also equal to zero. So hence, we arrive at the equation F is equal to A bar B plus A, B bar, which, was, which is indeed equal to A, B plus A bar, B bar, the whole bar. So let's start implementing uh, this Boolean expression, which is of X or gate. So the very first step is we can write it in the form F is equal to, let me, yeah, A, B plus A bar, B bar, the whole bar into one plus A, B plus A bar, B bar into zero. This zero and one represents logic zero and one. So we can, first term we can expand it a little more. It will be A bar plus B bar dot A plus B into logic one. Second term will be as it is A B plus A bar B bar into logic zero. Now, the first term over here represents the pull up network. So this represents pull up network. And the second term represents the pull down network. Remember the pull up network consists of only PMOS transistors and the pull down network consists of only NMOS transistors. So this is my modified form of expression F. And I'm going to build this up. Let us first start with the pull up network. So we have two transistors, A bar and B bar in parallel, that is PMOS. And the combination is in series with another two transistors, uh, PMOS transistors with the input A and B. So we have to draw like this. So we have first two transistors in parallel with the input A and B bar, A bar and B bar. And this combination is in series with the two transistors again in parallel with the input A and B, like this. And we connect them together, like this. So this represents the pull-up network. Now let's start build, building the pull-down network. So for the pull-down network, we have two transistors in series with input A and B. So let's draw that. So these are my two transistors with the input A and B in series. And that combination is in parallel with the transistors, two transistors, A bar with and B bar in series again. So here it will be A bar and B bar. And both of them are connected in parallel. So like this. So this is my pull-up network and this is my pull-down network. The blue color one is pull-up and the red color one is the pull-down. And now we connect the remaining of the circuitry. So this will be your VDD. 
will connect the pull up and pull down together and this point is my output which we call it as uh, f which we can call it as a x or b fine and below the pull down network is connected to the ground so over here uh, this is my implementation of two input xor gate but is my design complete well no you have to generate a and a bar from a and b inputs so to do that we have to connect make a cmos inverter so let me quickly make two cmos inverters and keep it ready so that's the first one and let me complete the second one also so first one will be required to generate a and a bar uh, sorry a bar and the second one will be required to generate b bar so if the first input over here is a the output of the inverter will be a bar and over here if it is b it will be b bar okay so that's how we implement a two input xor gate using static cmos logic now how many total transistors are required over here the total transistor count over here is four in the pull up four in the pull down so total eight and uh, also you require uh, four more transistors for the two cmos inverters so plus four okay so total 12 transistors are required to make a xor gate using static cmos logic okay so that's all for from this uh, simulation uh, from this session and uh, next time we will see the the realization of a xor gate using static cmos logic so until then have a good day and